It's the market sniper. We're updating you on gold. And here's what we're going to tell you. We told you about a very attractive hunt volatility funnel set up uh, some time ago, a few days or so ago. And yes, it's done just superbly. It's making great progress. And now would not be the moment to enter right now, uh, as we've just met our second interim level, which is where we anticipate a little bit of pushback and a little bit of fizzle typically to occur when things pause. That's right. So not only does the method give you a structure and a setup that is focused on the squeezing in the volatility, such as you see here, we also noted the key level that we were sort of keeling in that's like a boat with the keel under the water the water line being the two thousand uh, dollars mark which of course we want to move up 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 and away from in the overall expectation of a bull assertion to the upside continuation structure despite that uh, extensive slapback that we covered in the previous video what you'll note in terms of how it's performed uh, since the breakout triggering event we call it that's the phrase we use over there it, by the way kind of a very nice little secondary squeeze inside there which is what we call almost like a primer squeeze inside if you drop a time frame we're doing this on the six hour if you took it down to the two etc you'd see a bit more of that in the details you get a squeeze before the squeeze we've put the latest possible entry which we refer to as the just-in-time entry which is the takeout of that rh3 on this risk reward assuming you entered in there so how did the flight path go by the way the risk reward if it makes target which is still an if nothing has happened everything is possibilities and probabilities although you've had an explosive move away from your entry this is the great gift of trading the one setup that we do this is all we do uh, we're specialists we're not paramedics we prefer to be brain surgeons <laughs> anyway uh, maybe maybe we need more brains who knows um, anyway back to this uh, so you'll see how this is actually performed what you note in the flight trajectory is first you make that first interim which is the dotted line. And then you've got to pull back all the way back in. You see that into the funnel area, very typical of the true geometry in our HVF method. In other words, we give you two places where it's likely to have a pullback. That one comes in kind of quick and early. It wasn't too terrible because uh, if you have a look at it, we can maybe drop on a lower time in a second. It ends up being very much in the bear flag category. So you could have some people would be greedy and move the stop up to the low of what is the triggering event candle. We don't recommend that, but if you're arriving late, it's one of the ways um, you can chop your way in. So what are we getting now? What are we getting now? Well, we're looking on the six hourly time frame here on gold, and you've actually literally, in terms of red candles, you've barely had any. You have two spinning tops with slightly red uh, colors over there and there. Everything else has been green erectile projectiles that's right heading on up happy to see you it's a boy it's a boy yes uh lovely uh now what you're getting is the shooting star the shooting star the shooting star so what is that well you've just run as you uh, mentioned and this is something we keep our community up to date on all the time uh, and they understand very well having gone through the course materials that when you get to the second interim a you shouldn't be adding to uh, this particular trading you should have had all your stake on into the beginning if you're using a teeny bit of leverage uh, the one moment not to buy in if you're watching this right now and you're FOMOing in and you don't know HVF method is right now why would you getting a shooting star and you have just run our second interim target which as we point out uh, is round right about just under the 2140 in terms of level. You should have been entered long at the last moment, 2041, 2041. So you should already be 140, you should already be $100 to the good on the move. And it's not so much $100 to the good. That's great, of course. Who isn't going to enjoy $100 to the good when you're in and around the 2K level? That's 5%. Um, but it's the rate at which it occurs. In other words, the cost of carry is very low. The opportunity cost loss is very, very low. Um, but right now, what may happen, you see that little bit of fizzle back after making the second interim is you get some degree of slightly adverse price behavior that could see you pull back a little bit and maybe pause and rest. So you could get a little bit of dollar strength. You could get other reasons. Somebody says something, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. But our expectation will once again be that in due course, that in in due course yes you will get further upside that's right further upside coming 
further upside coming. It may be a continuation pattern like that, could be anything else, could have a little inverted head and shoulders, could do a lot of things. Um, but something's going to happen, a little bit of progress decay, people are going to get a little bit bored, some might panic out, wrong thing to do. Why? Because the big prize remains. And while you round about these levels, you're actually really, let's say you come down somewhere here, you're actually only really uh, halfway to the main target. Don't forget, target 2,208, we typically expect you to do 2 to two, two, 10 2 to 15 potentially, there's always a bit of overrun, you should be selling into some still strength. You don't want to catch that hover moment where a single ounce trades and it's topping out and heading down. Uh, and generally you will surpass that uh, level and then you'll take a longer rest. Guess what? We'll hope and pray for another great setup so that we can get leverage, build more trading uh, profits on the way up using HVF method and then convert that into our favorite money. You guessed it, sound money. That is gold and in you go back into gold. If I went without saying a word on silver, and I intend to keep this short, but if I did, uh, you would be a little bit disappointed in me, so I will take you to the silver chart just before we go past there. Some uh, very kind people leaving awesome feedback on our last video. That was actually a crypto video. Self-study course is by far the best investment I've ever made. Thank you. I kind of part... part Part hid their names because I haven't got their permission to dox anybody. As a new member to the SC, that's the Sniper Circle Trading Metamorphosis Program, I can attest that it's well worth the financial time and commitment to learn the HVF method. Francis's method works exactly as advertised and his teacher's method is clear and succinct. <laughs> I'm relieved about that. Am I clear and succinct? Sometimes I'm maybe not. Also, the big bonus of joining is the community and other members. That's absolutely true. Um, and the platform that provides support, etc. This is almost too good to be true. This, uh, I can promise you, I didn't write it myself and it's not me, ma'am. Um, if you are serious about becoming a trader, there's no better avenue to achieve this than coming on board. I had zero trading experience before and I've already covered the cost of the program in two months. God bless. That is someone who's very contented. Thank you and many blessings to you. Anyway, let's go to Silver and have a little look. And thank you to those people that actually come out publicly. We didn't ask for it and they volunteered that. So super short on Silver as well. Uh, falling wedge. Yep, you had that. You had that. You were squeezing. We've spoken about the 22 support. I'm keeping it on this time frame. I'm not going up to the super big time frames. This is four hourly. You can see there was the volatility thrashing around. This is how all the bears eventually shake themselves right down and out. They've had enough. They've had enough. It's been too long. Out, out, out. Then we get the break of the falling wedge. Typical with that, you push on and you get a return move. Now you're getting the upside. Again, 24 key level, but the shooting star, plot gold, the God market. It took gold to move first before uh, silver got interested. This is still the early stages of the precious metals bull, as it is a Bitcoin and crypto bull as well, by the way. Money is worthless, fast becoming ever more worthless at a super quick rate. How are you defending your wealth? Don't forget, pure gold, link below. I buy personally from them. They deliver to me in almost all the places that I live, uh, with the only exception of big nations, Australia, uh, because of cranky weird rules. And I think Nigeria doesn't quite copy it either. But to everyone else, uh, you can you can buy uh, from Pure Gold and they will buy back at spot. Anyway, so silver good, but given the timing of this video, not the time to wail in and ape in. So with the possibility of gold having a small pullback, you might want to watch and let it come back a little bit when it starts to do small time frame reversal structure of some form that may give you some form of entry. This is on a non-advisory entertainment basis only uh, without method, without understanding, without money management. You can do harm, use very light leverage if you use any at all, uh, not to be construed as investment or trading advice. Thank you for checking in with us. Gold and silver are back on the go again. Gold is leading the charge, as you can see. Uh, just watch for a little bit of progress decay at these levels later to run through the 2200 level, through the 2208, and into the likely the teens before maybe having a little bit more rest time and kicking its heels for a while longer. Don't forget the macro target, however, all the way up. I say that it's not the super macro, it's the next major step to the doorstep of the 3000 level, which we've been calling for some time now, 2900. Getting to the 2-2 is one of a number of steps to getting to 2-9, uh, and that will be 
potentially the first major leg of a macro move that we continue to see serving very well for patient precious metals fans and don't forget silver when it does eventually get trucking and that bungee cord is stretched and stretched and, tre and stretched the trailer will come herring past the truck climbing up that hill uh, as well but first gold first gold the firing order is first gold first gold then later some silver later the the, the the more marginal smaller miners will be one of the last things um, to move so the firing order is that you do yourself very good service by getting into gold you can rotate a little later when we start to get the gold silver ratio turning over and going back down at the moment we're still in the top half we won't do that today we'll save something for next time thanks for watching don't forget to like and share uh, and we'll catch you again next time bye for now